This is Sarah Cray for CCAY, working for a better life for Aboriginal youth. Today we're here exploring the problems within the foster care system. This is an issue I'm well aware of from being in foster care since I was three years old. Do you think there's anything wrong with the foster care system? You know, I think that the system is less than perfect. Um, but a, And I think some of that has to do with um, it's difficult for for a child to be removed from a family and move into somebody who they don't know way. Mm -hmm. So that's almost inevitably a painful experience even if there are wonderful people taking them into their arms. Mm -hmm. um, so that always becomes difficult. I wasn't comfortable and like I wasn't, like I didn't feel like I, like, like a kid, I didn't feel like I got to grow up properly. Like I grew up too fast because I was scared. And Do you feel like CFS helped you as much as they could have? Not as much as they could have, but you know, in CFS it's like, you feel like you just get, like, you just along. passed along, mm -hmm. along in like the system. So speaking from experience, like I grew up in different foster homes and like, I had to deal with like getting a new parent every couple months and stuff. If somebody came up to you now that was in the situation I was, what would you say to them? Like, what would you? How would you help them? I just tell them like, honestly, like it gets really hard in the point where, like, where you're crying every night and you just feel hopeless. But. It, like you do move past that like there is a future beyond what you are right now and just look forward to it because it does help and there will be a brighter future. CFS you know I struggle a bit with a lot of the stuff that they um, have in notes but they're not being able to talk about certain things that's um, it's a frustrating thing because I mean we still remain silent and um, I think uh, as our people as a whole, um, not just Aboriginal people, but this generation now, we gotta um, we gotta realize that stuff in the past didn't work, and we gotta you know work on things that are gonna help the the future of the youth not go back to the same things over and over again. It's just gonna repeat itself. CFS made the rule that like when you're 18, you have to be done with CFS. Do you think they came up with that just so they can get rid of all the kids? Um, that's a loaded question. I mean, there is a point in time where I think the agencies feel they need to cut the ties with them. Um, a lot of it, uh, I believe, is a lot of funding comes into play with it. Um, for them to say that, you know, the 18 rule, I mean, it's, it's not realistic and they need to come up with different plans on how they're going to support these youth because if they invest in the youth um, from the get-go um, earlier on in the stages uh, with the assessment pieces and linking them up to the proper um, placements, I mean, they're going to succeed more in that way rather than, you know, lose money when they're 18. And if they're not ready, I mean, they're going to struggle and they're going to find trouble. And, I mean, there's, you know, it's... Intergenerations, it's just, it's going to continue and continue more. This is Sarah Cray, and I just finished my interview with Terry from Nadinaway. I have to say, I learned a lot. I learned there's lots more opportunity out there for foster kids. Had I known, maybe things would have been better for me. As for foster care, I think there could be lots of changes made still. And personally, I think things could be a lot better. This is Sarah Cray for CCAY.